Hello, welcome to Mushabbar from the capital of Sweden, Stockholm. Yesterday, I talked about how you can find an industrial sponsored thesis work or project work for your master's degree or bachelor degree. Also, I talked about the possibilities to get a permanent job in the industry or a PhD position after you have completed your master's thesis or bachelor thesis. But I forgot to talk about one important subject, blockchain. My friend also wanted to know about the opportunities within the blockchain domain. So let's today talk about the opportunities in the blockchain for the students. I am the first ever international master's student from Pakistan to Sweden. In 1996, I joined Chalmers University of Technology in Gothenburg. Blockchain is a very important subject. It's probably more important than you have ever imagined. The opportunities within the blockchain domain are going to increase a lot. There will be a lot of demand for the blockchain professionals. So I think if you are a computer science student, then you should start learning about the blockchain. If you already have not done that, learn about the blockchain, try to know how it works, what are the basic features of the blockchain, why blockchain is used and so on. Today we often say that almost every human being in the world is using a database, a traditional database. Even if you are living out in the jungle with no connection to the rest of the world, if you are using for example currency, the paper currency, that means you are using a database, a traditional database in the backend. In the future, most likely in a similar fashion, every human being is going to use a blockchain and there are a lot of use cases of the blockchain. It does not have to be a currency. I just gave an example of currency, a paper currency, just for the sake of example, but there are a lot of use cases of the blockchain in different domains. Most likely in the future, everyone is going to use blockchain in some fashion or another. Just like a database, a traditional database, people are going to use blockchain without even knowing that if they are using a blockchain or not. You will not even know while you will be using blockchain. So blockchain is very important to know because there will be lot of demand expected in the future. So what opportunities exist for you within the blockchain domain as a student? First of all, lot of big traditional enterprises such as Ericsson, they are also looking for blockchain professionals. Ericsson has a whole unit that works with the blockchain. They are mainly working in the logistics area or invoicing area using blockchain. They also need blockchain professionals. I think almost every big enterprise, they have a blockchain projects nowadays, but still they are in infancy state. The demand is going to grow in the future. However, there are a lot of public blockchains. There are thousands of them. You can find all those public blockchains in coingecko.com. Here you can find a list of all the public blockchains. And if you browse through them, you will find there are thousands in numbers. I think you should research for these blockchains. Maybe you can pick top 100 or top 20 in this list and then try to understand what they are what they do, what is the purpose of these blockchains, who has created these blockchains, and what are the use cases and so on. From this website CoinGecko, you can find all the information for the top blockchains, uh, their websites, their team members, what they do and so on, how their roadmaps look like, what are their development plans and so on, what kind of budget they have reserved, for example, uh, for students and for other kind of work. Also, how to talk with them. They have all the information in CoinGecko. Most of the public blockchains, they use Telegram and Discord as a communication media. I think you should browse CoinGecko, try to know them, what they do, how to talk with them, and do some kind of research work. You will find out several interesting projects within these blockchains. And if you feel that 
that is what something you want to do you can go ahead i can give you two examples there is a one blockchain project public blockchain project called harmony and then there is another one icon both of these blockchains they have reserved a certain amount certain funds for different kind of development activities and anybody in the world including students they can apply to get sponsorship for the projects that are relevant for these blockchains they have also a kind of proposal system if for example you don't find something uh, that they want but you have an idea and you want to propose your idea you can use the proposal system to submit your proposal and you can get funding for your project but remember that in order to propose something you need to know something about the blockchain so you need to first know about the blockchain you need to know the basics of the blockchain how it works and also you need to dig something deeper because in order to propose something by yourself you should have some basic knowledge maybe you need to spend for example 2 to 6 month trying to understand what is the purpose of this public blockchains why they exist how they work what kind of projects they have what kind of uh, offerings they have for for example for students for you and then based on that in knowledge and based on that information you can uh, apply for your project for your master thesis you can submit your own proposal and remember that there will always be competition there will be more people like you who are also going to submit their proposals to get funding from these blockchain projects so your proposal has to be competitive in general if your project proposal will be good for the community for the blockchain definitely if your project proposal will be good for the blockchain and for the blockchain community then of course they are going to approve your project proposal and you will be able to get whatever funds that are needed to perform your project remember as i talked earlier in order to submit a good proposal in order to make sure that you succeed in your goals you have to do some homework so if you are going to do some homework you will find out there are lot of opportunities within the blockchain domain there are thousands of opportunities they are always looking for people my advice to you is that if you are a computer science student then don't ignore blockchain blockchain is probably more important than data analytics artificial intelligence and other things actually in order to work within the blockchain you will also need to know data analytics you need you will need to know artificial intelligence and security so the traditional it domains can also be utilized in the blockchain world so this is all that i wanted to talk about the blockchain i hope you have got an idea and uh, remember that i am saying this again that blockchain is very important field if you are a computer science student don't don't ignore it try to learn about the blockchain even if you are not a computer science student there are all kind of opportunities within a blockchain company they need all kind of people by the way so that's all thank you to all of you goodbye If you like this video please share this video to the whole world spread this video everywhere we are confident that this channel is going to have a huge impact this channel is going to change some of the lives of the people so please subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon and stay tuned thank you to all of you goodbye